Hey there, YouTube friends. Mass Bandit here. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I always do appreciate it. Say hello, John T. Hello, John T. Ah, you're a comedian over here. <laughs> <laughs> that's like the oldest one. That's like that's like pull my finger, isn't right, it? Right, yeah. I'm hungry. <laughs> Hi, hungry. I'm dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did you get that booklet when you had a kid? Yeah, I, right? I, they the sent dad a jokes? booklet through, right? right? Yeah. Absolutely, the dad jo jokes book. <laughs> anyway, here we are in Azuri, and a little peek behind the curtain. Um, it's Friday. We normally record on Saturday or Sunday, so a uh -huh. little bit earlier than normal, which means the progress is a little bit less than... Um, Oh, here we are again. Um, you know, saying, didn't get as much done this week as I wanted. Yeah, it's just kind of a running theme now, isn't it, I think? Yeah, it's okay, though. <laughs> um, with your with your uh, kind of fluid situation, with your move and all that, we're going to be uh -huh. flexible when we can. So we are recording on a Friday. I'm actually going to yeah. keep keeping the park. Um, for a bit more, yeah. Yeah, for a few more days, and then I'll give it back to John T, So Yeah, it's just that, like, we're trying to get visits in with people now before we move, so, and obviously most people are free a weekend, so right. we're, uh, we're yeah. heading down, uh, we're heading down to Birmingham today, so, um, but yeah, you're gonna, we're just recording just, because my, so my voice is here, basically, you're gonna carry on working yeah. on some of this, right? Yeah, I am, and, and I'd feel like a terrible human being if I wasn't at least a little bit flexible for someone moving <laughs> across an ocean, so. Yeah, <laughs> we're getting there, we're yeah, getting there. Yeah, 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 so, but anyway, um, you'll notice we're working on um, something that's completely new, and I did not record myself building the top portion of this. We are building a bug um, enclosure, a bug encounter, a bug house, whatever you want to call it. But you'll uh -huh. notice it's sitting underneath something very, very large. Yeah. Uh, so I went and tried to tackle a centerpiece for the park. Um, a lot of people on Bro Nation were giving me ideas of castles and things like that, and huge yeah, a monuments. Lot of the, uh, a lot of the comments in the video were were sort of like uh, not necessarily castles, but but yeah, like, like big I don't know what temples, temple or, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And and at first, that's kind of what I was leaning towards, and I kind of mentioned it in the video. But the more you and I talked after our last episode. Uh, the more uh, a tree of life type thing from Animal Kingdom seemed to make more sense just because of the different cultures and the different themes we're going to have in the area if we went with a temple or something. I didn't want it to skew too close to one particular theme. So, yeah. giant tree of life it is then. So. <laughs> I, I always I always kind of like the idea of a tree of life, mm -hmm. uh, well or whatever you want to call it, big old tree. Yeah, but big um, ass tree. I just I just couldn't figure out how to do it. <laughs> well, I tried, so and was... you'll have to see in real time what you think, because I don't think you get a really good view of it here in the time lapse. It's uh -huh. more about underneath here. So okay. I thought if we're gonna have this big area with this big ass tree, we need to have something going on. And I thought how perfect would it be to have an insect house under the tree? That seemed to make good sense to me as far as yeah that kind of fits thematically i, guess. I thought yeah. so yeah, yeah. so yeah. there's gonna be a bunch of creepy crawlies in there now there's no so, interior so <laughs> what's the um what's it what's under the animal kingdom one that isn't that a bug it's a bug's oh, it's life bugs, theater yeah bugs that's right theater. it's one of those it's one of those like where the chairs shake i think and so stuff, right? 5d yeah, yeah, yeah. experience yeah uh-huh uh -huh. right the 50 is whatever <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's that's kind of what we're going with here, and the struggle with this was making it f look really good from all angles, but still be a functioning building, um, uh -huh. because it has to be, so uh, you will see it in real time. I uh, went ahead and added like a roof with some ductwork, but then you could see it from the path, so I was like, well, damn. So I had to go uh, in and yeah, I had to find ways to do it. Like I think here, using the terrain to kind of cover the the walls i thought was a good way to kind of show that this is a man-made structure but you know yeah. so yeah that's yeah it's looking really good there because like, like you say you, there's got to be it's got to be structurally sound you can't just stick a door on some terrain right right it you can't look kinda, like dirt yeah it's got to <laughs> have like uh air vents and right uh, like exits and stuff so right yeah. and we got some wiggly um what are those larva pizza, down there. pizza toppings they yeah are we got some toppings. lovely pizza <laughs> toppings correct and and i thought well we have all these insects i'll go ahead and use them and you laughed at me when i showed this to you oh wait, yeah, so i trimmed them out i didn't even put them in the time lapse <laughs> are they there are they still there though are yeah, they still there oh yeah they're still okay there. okay so he's used like the giant scorpion and all that kind of <laughs> yes, stuff yes i did and I, and I and i said it's totally fine i said i love it. it's the exact sort of thing you need it's really good but don't you dare ever give me grief about wanting to use that shark heads ever again. 
<laughs> it's true. It's so true. But yeah, so right across from the bug house now, you can see, oh, you can get a little hint of the elephant enclosure, which is the really unfinished part. Um, I kind of wanted to make sure that we could get up to this tree of life in a, uh, and connect the other the, the path that we started last time. So I had a lot of like grunt work, I guess, to do before I could really uh -huh. hit those elephants. And yeah. I am so like conscientious of their habitat that I'm kind of stunted. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm really like apprehensive about it because I don't want to screw it up. Like, well, even from like the very beginning, when we were when we sort of really started planning this out, we kind of said to each other, "Is there any are there any bits that you really want to kind of claim now? You know, mm -hmm. are there any bits that you really want to kind of bag bag? Well, we would say bagsy. What? Well, no, what's the American word for that? Like." Dibs. Uh, dibs, yeah, 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 sure. Dibs, yeah. So there's only bits you really want to do. And you straight away were like, elephants, I want to do elephants. Yeah. I really want to do elephants and yep. do them properly. Yep. Um, and like you said, it's it, they're one of those animals. Like, okay, so so far I've done flamingos and meerkats and you've done... Crocs. Uh, gay, yeah, crocs. And they're like, they're cool and stuff, but everyone, you know, nobody's... Nobody's upset like, that they're in a zoo, usually. Yeah, nobody's like, doing Save the Flamingos. Right. Yeah. Elephants Whereas, are the yeah. first really... I guess sea lions are, too, though. They're no slouch. Oh, yeah, sure. But these, yeah. like, there's a lot of... like In the last several years, there's been a lot of changes to um, elephant enclosures uh, in yeah. zoos across the world because they re yeah. you know more, more science has come out about them and, and what they uh -huh. need and socially and keeping the, uh, the family packed together and making sure that the females are you know all related to each other and that the males are partitioned out by a certain age and like mm -hmm. it's just all this stuff and, and I've read several things several times to try and wrap my head around it so yeah it's it's a work in progress but um, i think it's one of those ones that not, not only is there all this stuff out there and like you say like it's much more um scientifically backed up now i think mm -hmm. just like pub public opinion of it now as well it's yeah. well more uh, respected it's kind of like um what we had with like we mentioned it off camera briefly but what, like kind of like what happened with orcas uh, 10, 10 years, 10, 15 years ago, you know? Right. Like, suddenly, it wasn't, it wasn't only that uh, it turned out they needed a lot more, uh, you know, work and effort. It was that the public got behind it and, they were, right. and the public sort of, you know, really took it on. So that's something that we really want to try and get across here, I guess. Right, because I love the elephant enclosure at the Houston Zoo, where I go. And they have done so much to expand it, at least by two since we've lived here in the last 10 years and it uh -huh. is just and it's great and and looking at like some of the best elephant exhibits in the nation they are massive and they have to be because they're such yeah. big animals and they've got different areas so that they can you can separate the males and the females and there's just all these different things to think about and so i wanted to make sure i did they, it justice are they like nomadic as a, as an animal like do they do they kind of have a home or do they just constantly kind of just wander I think they just follow like... the water. I think they have migration yeah. trails. Um, that I'm not yeah. exact because I was looking more at zoo captive yeah, yeah, sure. rather than wild. But I know they travel for water. Um, and certain yeah. elephants, there are like Saharan. I know there's like elephants that live in the Saharan desert, so uh -huh. which is kind of crazy. So, but yeah, we are going with African elephants. Uh, by the okay. way, so now is that is that a decision based on uh, like zoos or based on what was on the workshop? It's based on the workshop animal. Most, okay, <laughs> as far as I know, most zoos have Asian elephants just because they're smaller. Ah, okay, they're, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> That's one of the big differences is they are significantly smaller than African elephants. Um, uh -huh. So yeah. So, but anyway, this structure—it's not, it's not unheard of to have African elephants. No, I don't think so. Right, okay, like there are okay. African elephants um, in in some zoos. I'm sure. I think Brookfield Zoo in Chicago used to, but there was this disease that plagued lots of elephants in zoos. Like, and right. like all the elephants in the Brookfield Zoo, I think, died, and then they just oh, didn't. Man. They said, "We're just not going to have elephants anymore." Yeah. So anyway, yeah. <laughs> on a, to end uh, on a on a high note, there, jeez. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> shit. The, this shot. There. I know we were going to go for an uh, uh, an African sub theme here, but I thought we weren't quite uh -huh. there yet. This is kind of more of like an, a trading post kind of feel. Uh -huh. um, it's, okay. You can see it's brighter and a bit more um, organized, put together than the shanty town, uh -huh. but it still yeah. has some remnants of that with the kind of 
all over the place roof lines and stuff. I kind of like it that way. Yeah. So yeah, I think as long as you get maybe just like a little tweak of color and stuff, just you know, like uh, even some of those vintage um, ba banners or something, you know, just to ah. kind of bring in a little bit of the African y maybe, you know, just to kind of so it's almost like a transitional building, I right? Guess. I don't know. Is that some thought, yeah. something you thought about? Or? That I, I well, the colors is what I was going with. Is like we got some, you know, the teals and the pinks kind of to liven it up, and then I was going to go much more African, both in materials and like you said, like those details from. Uh, yeah. some, uh, from vintage and all that but yeah, yeah i can definitely i'm gonna add like a bunch of clutter i thought adding the um bags that are, are those uh, uh the cargo stuff the pirate uh -huh. cargo stuff in this area it could be like your last stop almost like a safari stop before you get into the african area we'll yeah see. yeah yeah i yeah. mean you could if this if the space even like a few of the safari jeeps Thrown sure. around as some, yeah, yeah. Uh, as some extra theme in that's you. That's know. a good point. Yeah. So that's we that, actually does that have window a shop. there. Sorry, that window on the side there is that yeah. an in-game window? Yeah, that's the from. Um, I think that's from World's Fair. That's why. Jeez, I right? sat and made that on the Sea Lion building. I sat I, and made those I out know, of bits. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Yours look very good though. They're very they're different <laughs> and they're smaller. I'm sure they're smaller. So yeah. But yeah, we are going. I am going to tackle an interior for this one. I think okay. I want to do that because uh, a good. We don't. We have your restaurant interior. Um, I want to uh -huh. do a QSR interior. So this would be just okay. a quick little food bit, and probably need so some where, restrooms over here too. Where's this sit against the? Uh, so I thought this was like a viewing thing for elephants. This isn't. This is a. It's is right next to, to the elephants. Yeah. Okay. So it's right across from the tree, and it's sort of behind the flamingos. Right, okay, it's that, that corner sense. that we've mm -hmm, made then, yeah. Mm -hmm. And one of the things, and here we are working on this elephant exhibit now, and this area that I'm working on here is inspired from the Omaha uh, Henry Dorley Zoo. Uh, they just redid their entire um, African exhibit, and they actually have like zebras and gazelles living in the area with elephants, as far as I could make out. Okay. Yeah, but it's this huge, huge thing, and they were very, very adamant on not having, on not having as few barriers that you could see as possible. Sure. Um, to the point where they planted a whole bunch of plants against the back fences, so that you can't really. And they painted all the stuff brown, so it blends in. And this little uh -huh. seating area here is directly taken from from that. So okay. I liked that. I thought that was pretty cool. And so would this be for like a show or more just no, like come just and chill out? out yep, just a yeah. chilling out area. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have any show here. I wasn't planning on having any show. Um, no, I don't just, think it really fits for elephants. No, right. Just one of the, yeah, no, one of the problems I was having with this area is there is a steep incline. And so I had to use um, some wiring. And from my research, it looks like most of the wiring, like when you have the big pillars with the wires, it's hot wire. It's actually uh -huh. electrified. And uh -huh. um, it's not inhumane apparently like it's still a a reasonable way to restrain to keep them in their pens but yeah i figured for this park we would want as little of that as possible yeah so yeah. we have it yeah, going up so. the hill. or at least a little visible as possible yeah right? yeah. yeah and yeah. so we have some as we go up the hill just because that's pretty much the only way i could think to do it without completely obscuring the view but then my the goal for the rest of the area is going to be to try to not have any of that if possible so okay. yeah, so that's what we're doing with it. So it's like I said, I, I didn't get much of the actual enclosure done. I got everything around it done, setting myself okay. up to build the enclosure. <laughs> yeah, that's good though. I like this what you're using here for. A, a yeah, that's just fence. wooden yeah. beams here. I think yeah. it it looks okay. It's a little lopsided, but I kind of like it because it gets really narrow over there by the rocks. So I think it's right. I think it's okay. I think it's so this is a so they. Are they getting in there to, to look? They're the stepping over that fence, yeah? No, no, no it's going to be a planter. It's, oh, it's, okay. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah. Right, it's going to be a yeah. planter, yeah. And so we're back at the restaurant now. So I would do some stuff, and I'd be like, I need to take a break from this because I'm getting tired. I'm getting stuck. <laughs> and so I went back, and I started. There's going to be a viewing area. My only concern with this is um, smell. Yeah, I can like, imagine they stink. <laughs> yeah, like, would this be legit? I don't know. <laughs> But I guess as long as it's like it's just it's like a QRS, so it's grabbing a hot dog and walking with it. I guess you know it's not like well, there is a seat. We're, we're, we're going to make a little seating area here for them. But I think people that's seating area for people who want to come and sit and watch elephant. They, they you know what I mean. Nobody's going to sit there and go, oh my god, it stinks here. Like, right. Yeah. It's by the elephants. They, of course. They know what they're getting. Yeah. 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 All right. I just I just wasn't sure if that would be a uh, 
If you if people would actually sit there and eat. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, there is one thing I want to add that I haven't yet, and it was my wife's idea, actually. Uh, one of the natural deterrents, like, for communities uh, in Africa or in Asia with elephants is to mm-hmm. use beehives because oh, elephants wow, okay. are afraid of bees. And wow. so you get beehives or you get the sound of buzzing bees, and it deters elephants. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And so at our zoo, there's a beehive display, and it's at the corner of the pen. I mean, they still have the hot wire and all that. They still have yeah. the fencing, but it's, you know, an interesting educational thing that I want to add. So I'm going to add some beehives. That's neat. And there is there's there's bees in the game, right? Oh, there are, um, aren't there? Yes, there one are. Of the, one of the um, special effects. Particle effects. Is, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are right. By the, all of it, by the awesome David Crossland. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Who follows me on Twitter and? Uh, oh, well, there you go. Yeah. So, <laughs> I had no idea who like you were talking about. But. Yeah, he's, he's the he's he's the special effects guy, basically. All the, oh. all the water and lava and everything. That's he does all that. They are those yeah. are awesome. I do love all yeah. those, and I just don't usually use them. I yeah, do you know what? I I remember when they came out. Those, those ones specifically, like the, the the bees and the leaves and stuff. Yeah. I remember when they came out and thinking, "Oh, these are great! I'm going to put these everywhere." And then. I just I forget that they're there. Yeah, <laughs> Sorry, I really Dave. like the uh, <laughs> the fireflies. There's a firefly yeah. one, I think. They're, that's really yeah. cool. I do and yeah. put those in the bushes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, anyway, but just, they, they work really well for that. Yeah, so just kind of cleaning up this area a little bit. I wanted to have something more or less completed for us here. So uh-huh. <laughs> putting an actual path in so we can get some people. We'll put a, a, a vantage. What are they called? The Gathering points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vantage point. No, not vantage point. What are they called? I don't know. I don't. Whatever. Even know. You know the yeah, little those pillars. Things. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You have to be careful with those. We have to don't put them in until we've got a few more things going on. Because if you just put a couple of those down, like that, everyone just floods to them. <laughs> well, we still um, don't have an entrance. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's true. Yeah. yeah right. That's true. So. <laughs> but anyway, that's just about it for the time lapse. So let's hop over to the real time and we'll check things out at a more decent pace. So here we are, back at the entrance this time. We're starting in the front of the park this time, as opposed to the bridge. And I don't... Now that I'm here, do you notice it? Do I what, sorry? Do you notice the massive... Oh, like, yeah, sorry. You chopped out then. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, I do. I think it looks... I think it's kind of perfect height because it's noticeable, but it doesn't look... It doesn't look. It doesn't stick out. You know, mm-hmm. like it's not completely a sore thumb. Right. That was there. one of the things yeah. that was um, a bit tricky. Is because you uh-huh. wanted. I wanted it to be noticeable and be seen from the front, but you also want it to be grand. But then you don't want it to completely dominate everything else. Yeah. So. It's not like a castle or something that can just sort of sit there and have right. huge spires up to it. You know, right. it's kind of got to work work within the larger yep. uh, sort of fo- foliage scape of the park. So yeah, I definitely think it does. Awesome. Also did just a little tiny bit of clean, not much. I just went okay. with terrain paint here and we've, I put in a really bait. I'll change this wall out, but defining the hard border. Just of the park. yeah, we've got to kind of pick a place now where it's going. Yeah, go. that's yeah. where it's going to okay. go, and there's going to be a little building here. I don't know what kind to, uh-huh. to corner off and lead to the backstage area. Okay, so that's what that's going to be. But we'll go in the, the park good. proper. So, doo, doo, doo. and then here you go. Yeah, so you get and the then tree. there, yeah, that's what I like. It looks. I really love it, and I love. I, again, I said this when you were working on it. I love the the asymmetry of it. Mm-hmm. I love the fact that it looks very well natural as much as a huge tree looks natural but you know like right just kind of like uh yeah very open and i love the, yeah you so you lost a tree up right. front here right yes yeah. yes i did take that one away uh-huh. so that you could see it from the main yeah. plaza and it kind of does kind of be like oh let's go check out the big tree yeah I yeah guess, definitely yeah. it does exactly what it needs to do yeah cool and so over here there is the pathway but okay. it's 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 just in place. It's yeah. raw. Yeah, it's yeah, raw. Yeah, yeah, and sure. the flamingos are kind of throwing me for a loop. We can chat about what to do with those uh-huh. Um, uh-huh. off camera. So let's cross the main bridge here. And you get a better view here of the tree. And it actually, oh, looking at this, it kind of goes away. Yeah. I like this. It's like, oh. Ooh, it's, so it, like I say, it's there, but it's not. it doesn't stick. It doesn't, right. It looks, it looks like it, it looks like it grows comes out of the ground it look as in like the ground uh-huh. goes up to it like it should as opposed to it just being like a tree and Bruh, especially here with know. this meerkat with the meerkats yeah. now it it's almost a forced perspective thing going on which yeah I yeah was didn't even realize but i enjoy so let's go to the right this time cleaned up this area a little bit did just oh, lovely, some, yeah some gardening you know 
And so this was the old path. This was oh. the path that was here. And it was, uh-huh. someone commented that it was incredibly steep, which it was. Oh, right. Oh, I missed so that comment. Okay. I, made, yeah. I made it stairs now. Um, but because, and you could still see, I mean, and you'll notice they're very wide. So you could stand mm-hmm. on them. A couple people could stand on them at sure. a time and okay. still peek in. Yeah. But um, that means that now we need a ramp. So we'll go this way. Oh. Ah. And so what I did is to kind of define the border of the elephant enclosure. And here you could see, here's that fencing. No, need okay. some work here still. But using right. some bushes and stuff to kind of hide as best I can. Yeah. yeah but now okay. we have ourselves a little, oh, a nice. smoother, gentler ramp to get up here. So, oh, and I that. like this, how it Yeah, that's of, great. Yeah, yeah, I love that, how the, how the rock works. It's there. Right, and you kind of get a view. You get peaks of the elephants from down here. And yeah. you kind of see the but peaks. But al- also, it's acting as a bit of a sort of sound barrier for them as well, mm. you know, just to kind of just sort of dampens all that mm-hmm. sort of park noise coming at mm-hmm. them. And these roots here are kind of paying homage to where we're headed with the big tree. Thought I'd throw those around. Well, like, that's good, yeah, because I guess a tree like that would have roots that sort of come out this yeah, far, Yeah, now right? I'm looking at it, they are kind of far away, but I yeah, think it still I looks cool. It, so. Yeah, I think it would. Like you say, it sort of ties it all in nicely. Right. So here's our giant tree up here. Put a planter in the middle here because there was some naked path. <laughs> okay, good stuff. <laughs> I thought it looked that's pretty cool That's a really nice use top. of that. Yeah, that's just yeah. one of those uh, tower, tower rings, right? Yeah, I've used yeah. those, and I think there's some coconut. Yeah, and there's coconut piece. Oh, good so, stuff. Yeah, but it just adds a little more cover to this area because this area was pretty hot looking, pretty yeah. bad looking. So. Yeah. And then here we are. It kind of opens up into this, and the tree is here, and it's set back amongst all the leaves and foliage, and and here's your giant bugs. <laughs> and they're awesome. <laughs> it looks really great. So what's the what's the tree made out of then? I would guess fiberglass, like the actual. Oh no, no, I, I meant like in oh, game. Sorry, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is 195 pieces. This whole thing, wow. uh, which isn't that bad actually. The main tree itself is mostly kepok trees yeah whatever those are kepok trees okay and oh, yeah, brazil that. nut trees out. that's crazy <laughs> yeah and roots and then roots to make the actual trunk yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah and trying and what i did is i got an arm that looked pretty good and then i just mm-hmm. rotated it a few times and then tried my best to leave it alone as best i could so yeah it wasn't as bad that's i thought it was going to be this huge endeavor but i knocked it out in one major playthrough so that's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. And then you come down here, and we can get some little bug signs to go here. Yeah, a bit so. of signage or something, I think, would work quite yep, well. Yep, there, yep. Yeah, I wanted to try and do, like, big blades of grass. That's why I had the big bugs up there to begin with. Oh, I, I see. Kind of like the, kind of like the um, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids exactly. part, play area. Yeah. yeah, I wanted to do that, but I couldn't find... I tried seaweed, and I wasn't digging yeah. it, and some of the branches almost could do it, some of the vines, but I didn't get to uh-huh. it. So I, I didn't like it enough to stick with it, so... Okay. Didn't didn't do that. So I moved your restaurant because you suggested that, and so yep. it's it's over there. It's floating. Oh no, that's your backstage area. Your that's restaurant's the floating over there. There man. it is. There. Yeah. Sad, Just everything sad. I've done basically is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This, this is how it feels, <laughs> isn't it? Man, I'm yep. I'm the mic of the project. <laughs> yeah. <God. laughs> You're on the other side of it. Now. Yeah. It's kind of weird. <laughs> But here's our uh, restaurant type thing. I was going to call it the canteen or something like that. Yeah, cool. And uh, we've got our backstage area here. That's where you would get to it. But it's all fenced off because you can see it from all around. So Right, okay. Here's where you're sitting. Let's take a cl- first look at our little elephant enclosure here. So yeah. They can come so right So who's... Up. Who's done the elephant? Uh, is it Dead Eye Duck? Is that the elephant? Is it Dead Eye Duck one? Yeah, I, I don't know. There's a few elephants you see because I know um, uh, Miss Red Nebula's done one as well. I think. Oh, I don't know. Uh, this is a there's a there's yeah. a uh, African elephant like this and a baby elephant, and I haven't put the baby think, elephant in yet. I think it's Dead Eye did the the African and the baby one. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So. Um, we also have here the little hay feeders. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, one, really one of the things you need to think about is how high they can reach with their trunk. So uh-huh. when building, when I build the actual their enclosure, their house, off to the yeah. end, you have to be really tall because you don't want any pipes or wires or anything like that within their reach. Anything they can get hold of, sure. Yeah, yeah that makes so. sense. Yeah, so I, I, what I did is I went and I wrote down a bunch of things that I thought would be good for our enclosure here. And so let's go to the little seating area. And over here is a seating area, or is our main, one of our main viewing areas. The Houston Zoo, the elephant enclosure is kind of laid out like a wishbone, where the animal house and the path kind of separated into two large chunks. 
Okay. So that's kind of the direction I might be headed here. So you can okay, see that cool, we'll yeah. get the elephant. He's like right there hanging out. So um, you can see all this space is what I have planned. <laughs> this is all elephant, yeah. Well, they yeah. like you say they take up, but they they need a good chunk. Yeah, there are some chunk, that are yeah. like four or five acres of land, which is wow. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to be huge. We want our elephants to be happy. So I'm going to give uh -huh. them tons of land. I'm going to give them a pool. Um, that's my plan, and then um, a whole bunch of things, like some things that I have in my notes here that I want to make sure I, I show in the in the enclosure is um, if this was for a minimum of four females. Um, one okay. of the things is, do we want to have males too? Because if so, they will need to be separated at all times. You can't have a male all by itself. It needs a male like herd to 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 hang to hang out with. They can't be in solitary uh -huh. confinement. So we'll have to decide oh, if right, that's something okay. we want. Um, so anyway, for four females, you need or all the animals must be able to mingle 16 plus hours a day, and they also must be able to separate it separate separate as needed kind of on their own so they okay. need to be able to access these different areas so that's something i need to th keep in mind uh they need indoor and outdoor access 24 hours a day they have to be able to go into their enclosure whenever they really kind of feel like it okay so, yeah two thousand square meters exterior space and this is far greater than that okay so, good. already yeah and a 200 square meter interior uh, and you need to be able to contain them they need to have like pens for checkups and stuff like that uh -huh. And so one of the things that you could see is like they have like, um, you know, big cages that have bars that you could slide in and out to create like single elephant pens. Or you can have them right. bigger so you can like when uh, at the Houston Zoo, they give elephant baths uh, uh -huh. every morning. And it's always like the mom and the baby. There's like two elephants in there at once. It's not all by oh, themselves. Okay. So that's something kind of cool. Uh, might want to include so yeah uh, must include oh it must include isolation pens have to be six meters high have to have restraining shoots have to have high level feeders which is what that's going to yeah. be and that's uh -huh. just the basics <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's crazy man yeah, yeah. what are you what are you thinking for the building then are you, are you, is it going to be like a big old shed or are you going to try and do I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and theme do in, it up. I'm going to try and do it up. There's yeah. a few different ideas. Uh, one of the ones, and I oh, I think it's in Copenhagen, Copenhagen, Hagen, how do you say it? In Denmark. Uh, you'd say what you yeah, like. That one. <laughs> uh, in, in Denmark, there's a zoo and I th they have this really cool modern like archway thing with all natural light and they've actually put leaves on the, on the uh, roof lighting, on the roof glass to kind of speckle it so it's not super ultra super intense lighting on them so yeah. i might go that route uh, make it a little okay. but it's built into the side of a hill i was gonna say that's uh, that, that would be my thought was to try and build it into terrain the problem is is that it's gonna be roughly where the where the road is right so it's gonna be difficult to yeah i'm of... not sure i currently have it here oh, okay to access backstage the problem with it right. let's get out of tension cam the problem with it being there Oh, okay. Is um, it makes it much harder to separate the elephants. The easiest way to separate them is Just to have your that. enclosure and then halves and half. Yeah. That would be the best thing. So what I could do is I could move this over to maybe here uh -huh. or something like this maybe. Maybe like that. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's then, what I was kind of thinking. Yeah. yeah, and then you can have an area here and an area here, and you can have another area with the pool. So that's kind of where we're – oh, come on. So that's kind of where we're headed with it. But here's an overview because you were a little confused on where everything was located. Yeah, yeah. It's all kind of <laughs> making sense now. There you go. So all this is my plan to be all elephants. So. No, but that's that seems right. Yeah, that seems that, it's that's large, kind of what we. But they're big animals. When we did the um, at the end of each episode, I think we did a little bit of it on camera last week. But normally at the end of each episode, we get the snow paint out, don't we? And the, yeah. the snow terrain, right? And just start like <laughs> just making sure we're kind of in the right sort of. Um, right. And then today, uh, even, you're, stuff, even, yeah. you're even going to get a little bit of actual building on camera oh, today. Oh, wow, look at that. Lucky mm. ducks. So maybe the pool uh -huh. right there might be nice, or somewhere. But like, if, so as soon as you put a pool in, it's like, oh, their land space has gone down quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, so, quite a bit, yeah. But I mean, you can go that way, like in, like in the distance there, as much as you like, really. Mm -hmm. um, you know? Mm -hmm. You mean back here? No, no, though, like towards the, the, the yeah, that way. Yeah. yeah. 
you, you could kind of go as much you know because we've got nothing else planned there yet so right you can kind of do as much as you like there and i'm thinking I think, um go on another viewing area right here for them so uh -huh. your main big one here and then one over here maybe the pool that's just kind of off the path mm -hmm. a little that people and can then this can be and then we can have like a barrier here where they can go if they don't really want to be on display uh -huh. so that's kind of where i'm headed with it i just want yeah. a couple more days to knock out some more of it that's fine yeah well like i say it's it's me kind of push forward so but yeah. i'd love the um again the terrain work man you're kidding it with that i think that, that with the path there is really good yeah Thank really you. nice yeah i'm really happy with how this all came together i think it looks pretty yeah. good so yeah, yeah and i'm and i'm happy with this oh the back the ass end so you can see here oh yeah sure trying right. to get it all just lush i think that's yeah. really cool um yeah we definitely. could put a something right here because like a cart or and and maybe an animal comes out and you could pet or something, you know, one okay. of those. For, but you can see I've got a roof, with uh -huh. just to yeah, show that great. it's a man-made structure. Um, uh -huh. And I haven't done this yet, but we talked about it beforehand. We're gonna. We did, yeah. Uh, well, where was it? Right here, right. It's there. Yeah, yeah we're, we're gonna, gonna make the... a tunnel here, and that's how you would uh -huh. access the bug house. Uh huh. Because there's really that's the backstage. The other option is to slap a door here, and that just feels sure. wrong. Yeah, Unless, no, that that's gonna I don't work. know, but no, because then there's no good way to get to it from backstage. Do you know what? Do you know what I'm thinking could work there, like the complete opposite side. At um at Chessington World of Adventure, which is a park in the UK, mm -hmm. they have a um they've got a spinning coaster called Dragons. I don't know something Dragon's Breath. I don't know uh -huh. something Dragons, and they have like an animatronic dragon in a cave, just like the head of it. Um, and it kind of just every now and again goes, oh, 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 you know, uh -huh. like something like that, but maybe like a spider or a scorpion or something, you know, like basically, oh. a, basically a photo point, you know, like a or photo it could even point. Be like, there's some of those where like it's a they they interact with the people. Yeah, so yeah. It's like, yeah, a guy in a, guy in a mic sat out of the way uh -huh, or something, uh -huh, uh -huh. you know, oh, just like I a little a little cave with a with a scorpion or a spider or something stuck in it that that you just let the animation run on it and it just kind of looks like it's you know. With the pincer uh, attack. Well, that's a little yeah. aggressive. That guy's that's a, a little bit That's a bit intense. <laughs> yeah. They're but all... Yeah, all of them are a little spooky. Well, but. yeah. <laughs> but maybe a, maybe a spider could go. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, that was maybe something like that. Yeah. Just like with a little fence around it. And it just kind of... <laughs> that's not you know, terrifying just, at just, all. Just kills kids as they walk past. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. hilarious. Or we could have... Our, I mean, yeah. Because this thing well, is I mean, yeah. huge. Uh, it's pretty huge. Oh my gosh! I've never. <laughs> I don't think I've ever picked this piece. No. <laughs> it's crazy. There's one. That's the, the killed up one, isn't it? There's one more, but I think again his head kind of comes in. There's three. I mean, oh, there that, are three, that, aren't there? That one, that sleeping one, isn't awful. But no. I just. It's a little bit like. Why is there a dragon there? You right. Know? No. That we yeah. wouldn't have a dragon here. Which I think I would. There. I think I would. Um, you could maybe get. A, yeah. You could maybe get away with that sleeping one somewhere. But I, if you did go a bit more sort of fantastical, that's not horrific. Right. But um. Yeah, no, I but think But this is yeah, what you meant, maybe. like a cave yeah. that has just a something. Little, in just, it. A, just a little cave that has something in there that people can come over and have their photo taken. You know, uh -huh. photo points are a big thing in, in parks. I right, think, that right, right. Get across, you know? No, I think that'll be um, great. I think that'll and be obviously, oh, I, a couple of people mentioned the front of the sea line show being a bit bare. Again, that that's still my work in progress. Like, yeah, that's right. still very, very much not finished yet. So, right. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're, we're going to withhold yeah. all judgments on that until you get another, yeah, yeah, another yeah, go at stuff. it here. To, to add all your details, but I do love it. Someone mentioned also that it would be really easy for people to get up the rocks here or something, to which I Again. then said, it's a work in progress, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, it is all a little uh, a little unfinished, but that's, that's oh, my first there, task though. when I get it back. Is, it'll get there, It's tidying that up a little bit, yeah, before I start working on something else. What that something else is, I have no idea, but... Um, I don't know either. Yeah. But yeah, so this is where we're at. Every time I like zooming out because there's marked progress. I like progress. zooming out, you know. <laughs> yeah. There's marked progress every time. This, this is, is going to be a bit of a sticky area right here. This is. Uh, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. I see. Like, I mean, I, I'd be I'd be tempted just to fence, just to put a wall around. Yeah. It, foliage. Uh, just like a just like a temple-y type wall. Yep. Um, I, don't, I don't disagree with that at all. Because just, then, because not only is it covering the flamingos, it's also pushing people's eye line towards the elephants you know like you've mm -hmm. got to have those dead bits to make them look where you want them to so right right if right. this side just has a wall on it then you're going to look at the elephants on the other side which is yep. what you want yep 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 sounds good so yeah that's where we're headed with this i think, I think it's, it's great thank excellent you. work 
Yeah. So I think that's going to do it unless you have anything else you want to... Uh, no, like I said, the only thing I was going to say is make, like some. we need some sort of like bug signage. Yeah. Um, I need to get cracking what, uh, on that. What I think might be quite good is to have like solid letters uh, across that fir- that curve of the there that say like bug house or yeah, something. Yeah, I was thinking, you yeah. know, mm-hmm. that would be quite neat. Insect um, encounter or something. Oh, yeah, whatever you want to, whatever you want to try and work out with. Like not, not necessarily the one that... Um, didn't somebody make like a small version of the light up vintage? Yes, that's Uwe you know that kind that. of side. Yeah, yeah, that kind of side, but not with the lights. Probably, no, no. That's the right kind of thing. Yeah, I can do there some is, simple art shapes. Or, or there is the um, there is the eagle book font, right? Which is the Planko, the Planko font, font. Mm-hmm. Right. on the workshop. And then, yeah, that, something like that. That just yeah, like basically each of those pillars has a letter on it, almost. Yep. You know, just yep. kind of reads as, you, as around the corner. That I think would look really smart. Oh, that was- yeah. Oh, pardon me. Goodness. Oh. Sorry. Gesundheit. <laughs> Thanks. Woo. All right. Well, on that note, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep the park for a couple more days, do some more uh-huh. work, and then I'm going to send it back to you. If I get enough done, I'll do a half episode to come out on like Wednesday or Thursday. Um, so, cool. yeah. Until then, though, that's going to do it for this episode. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit the like button. Um, if you haven't already, add some feedback. Let us know how we're doing, what you think we should be doing. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to Jaunty. Uh, his info is in the description below. So until woo. then, woo, have yourself a great day, great night, great whatever. And I will see all of you for the next episode of Missouri Gardens. Take care, everyone. Goodbye. Bye.